Hey everybody, welcome back to the Rothman PPC podcast, a little podcast here we do where we talk about Google ads and marketing and all that kind of stuff and business and try to just every single week get a little bit better and better at managing Google ads campaigns and getting good results for clients. My name is Jason Rothman and I thank you for for coming back if you're a repeat listener and I thank you for joining us here if uh, this is your first episode. So yeah, Rothman PBC podcast recording this on August 22nd, 2020. Got a birthday coming up. I've got a birthday coming up and some people would say I'm still young. Uh, others would say I'm old and kind of right in the middle there, but I feel good. It feels good. And uh, just working, working through the weekend, just was on a little social media a lot of people on their summer vacation and all that kind of stuff. Uh, what am I doing? I'm working, 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 but uh, that's what I like to do. So I'll, I'm working this weekend, just kind of taking it at a, at a nice pace, but got a few things to do before we wrap up the end of the month here. But everything is going absolutely splendid. Uh, things are just great right now. And uh, if you're in business, you know, that's always a, a good feeling when things are good. Uh, and then over on the Paid Search podcast next week, we're going to be making some major announcements uh, about Patreon, which is going to be fun to fun to get that out there and uh, got some good things planned there. So keep your eye out for that. Now, today's episode, uh, I've got a little spin on social proof that I heard about in the last couple of weeks that I think can apply to Google Ads, and I wanted to share that with you. And then also... I've got news about advertising on keywords uh, that include the words uh, Google ads. And this was brought to my attention in the Facebook uh, Patreon group for the Paid Search Podcast. I wanted to share it with this audience because uh, this will be interesting to you if you offer Google ads management services or anything like that. Um, it's some pertinent news. So let's just get into this uh Social proof. I, I named the episode "The Secret to Social Proof," and um, maybe there's other secrets to it. But this is just one interesting take on social proof that I heard about uh, reading the book "Persuasion" by the master Robert Cialdini. And um, when I think social proof uh, in the past, what I've always thought of are things like. Uh, just seeing that other people use a product or service. So if you're a moving company, having a video on your website or pictures on your website of real moves being performed uh, for people, if possible, uh, that's really strong to me, social proof, because it shows that other people have hired this company, other people have trusted this company, and the company's done a good job for other people. As a user, as someone trying to find a moving company, that's a lot better experience and, and provides a lot more confidence than if I just go to a website and it's just a website there that says you're a whatever city moving company and there's no proof, you know, no pictures of real movers doing real moves. That's what I always thought of social proof. Another one would be like we have over so many five-star reviews. That's good ad copy there um, telling people, hey, other people have used us. Other people have given us good reviews. Boom. Good social proof. But Reading this uh, persuasion book, I came across another aspect to social proof. And when I heard Cialdini talk about it, because uh, I'm listening to the audio version, I thought, you know what? That is that is extremely effective. I had never thought about social proof that way. And it's just a really good thing to know when, when you're going through Google Ads. So what I'm trying to do is I read books about persuasion, persuasion, marketing, um, using communication effectively to achieve your goals in life. I'm, I'm reading about that stuff just because I'm interested in it in, it in general. Uh, but I'm always, when it comes to work, I'm always trying to think back to how I can put that information into effective uh, Google Ads performance. And so with something like social proof, uh, I'm thinking about like, okay, how can I use this in text ads? How can I use this in display remarketing ads? And how can I use this in YouTube video ads? And the kind of spin on social proof that Cialdini was talking about was that you can use social proof 
and it can be very effective when you use it to show how your business is done or to show how how other people have been able to easily and successfully use your product or service and the the power of that is that it shows the person out there that someone else other people social proof other people have successfully been able to do business with you and accomplish what they want to accomplish and the reason this is a little bit different than the way I had thought about social proof in the past where I was just thinking about like oh just people seeing that you've worked for a lot of other people or people seeing that you've done a lot of moves for other people the difference is this is that the mindset here is to to actually show how easy or how it's done to other people to show the people out there that you're selling to or that you're advertising to to show them you actually doing the work with other people to show them you actually going through the process with other people and to give them that social proof that other people have done this product or service or use this product or service. And this is how they did it. And this is how easy it was to do it. And this is what it actually looks like. And the, the power of that is that the, the person out there that you're selling to can actually see with their own kind of mind's eye and their own vision, their eyeballs, what the service actually looks like. So I run into this with quote unquote, Google ads management, Google ads consulting. A lot, that means a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And so I get prospects that I'm, I'm talking to sometimes where sometimes it's spot on. What I offer is exactly what they had in their mind's eye and it's a good match and we do business. Other times I jump on a sales call and Google ads help Google ads management, Google ads consulting it meant something totally different to them in their mind's eye compared to what I offer. And it's not a good fit. And, and the the beauty of thinking about social proof and actually showing your potential people that want to do business with you, people you're selling, actually showing them your product or service working, it takes the mystery out of it. And it, it leads to confidence in their mind that, yes, you are a good solution for them. So, a good example for this, I was thinking, would be SaaS software as a service. And the reason why is because there's a lot of software companies out there that advertise on Google Ads. There's a lot of software companies that uh, provide wonderful uh, services and wonderful solutions to their customers. And they solve problems. They make things more efficient. They make people money. It's great. They, they offer great products. But Sometimes SaaS products, software products, solve a a problem that's never been solved before, or they solve a problem a potential customer didn't even know could be solved. And at least from my experience, when I look at softwares out there for different uses, sometimes I have trouble seeing how they actually work. So an example of that would be if I go out there and there's a software that I want to use to maybe help me examine my ad copy and come up with new ad copy ideas. That's a problem I have that I would love a solution for. So you're managing an account for years. There's so much copy on a client's website to go through. Uh, You've tested a lot of ad copy and you're looking for new ideas, new ad copy ideas. You do it manually. That's what you do. You go out there, you do searches, see what other people are doing, see what other people are doing on their websites, read books about persuasion, see what Uh, ideas you can come up with in general, apply it back to that client. But at the same time, it would be cool if there was some kind of software solution that um, just fed you ideas. And that would be a solution. That would be a software that I would be interested in. Ad copy, review, and idea software. But if someone had that kind of software and I was on their website Maybe I'd clicked on a Google ads ad when I did a search about it, gone to their website, potentially considered wanting to use them. If there was no like video or slide show or just like even a white paper kind of walking me through the process and and showing me 
the way it works for another client of theirs. No kind of like show me how it works, show it, show it actually working social proof. It would be hard for me in my mind's eye to, to picture how that's going to get done. Like, wait a second, how are you going to, uh, produce those ad copy ideas for me? How am I going to apply them to my clients' campaigns? How am I going to see how you get those? How am I going to see how the email alerts work? How am I going to see what the sign-up process looks like and how long that takes? And all those unknowns, for me, when I'm limited on time, those are hurdles to this hypothetical software company winning my business. They're hurdles. Um, But if they can show me again, through videos or other kinds of media that they've actually done this for other people who are like me and this is actually how you do it and this is how easy it is, that just, to me, my likelihood of converting and filling out their lead form box or calling in would go up by a bunch if I could actually see them doing this uh, for someone else. So for a moving company, company an example of social proof that actually shows that it's possible to for the company to get the work done or social proof that shows the company actually doing the job for other people and not just uh saying they've worked for a lot of other people for a moving company that might be a a 60 second youtube ad or 30 second youtube ad that has a homeowner interviewed in front of their brand new house that looks all shiny in the background saying we we use this moving company and uh, we were nervous before the move and then as they're talking about how the move went on but they showed up they went through our house they made a plan before moving day they showed up on moving day early on time they had uniformed workers they were real careful with our stuff they knew how to pack everything onto the truck then when we got to the new home they unloaded us they had lots of guys on the job so it didn't take all day as the homeowner and this doesn't even have to be a real person it could be an advertisement just just like we see on tv where it's actors but it puts it in the mind's eye as as this homeowner real or not real or actor is describing the move and looking satisfied in front of their new home after a job well done as their voice is telling you what happened you have social proof of the work actually happening for someone else playing in the background so when they say they showed up on time uniformed and ready to work you see enthusiastic workers getting out of the truck uniformed early in the morning when they say they were real careful with our stuff and they knew how to pack everything and uh, make sure it was all safe. You see the movers folding up a TV stand or making things very secure or undoing a bed frame. And then when they talk about moving us into the new house and making sure we were we were all set up, you show them putting that bed frame back together. And you actually show the prospects out there the work getting done. So to me, whether it's real or whether it's an advertisement and it's it's actors, that social proof of showing that the work is possible, of putting the visual into the prospect's uh, head and actually showing them the work getting done for someone else, that kind of social proof, to me, that's really powerful uh, compared to we've helped 500, we've helped thousands of Dallas families over the last decade. Yeah, that's good ad copy. It's a good line. It's social proof. But how about some real social proof, some proof proof? Hey, this is us actually doing the job for someone else. It, this is us getting it done. It is doable. Whatever concerns you have in your head about how hard it is to go through a move, let us relieve those concerns. We'll show you doing it for someone, someone else, us doing it for someone else, and we can do it for you too. And then when that person is looking at their list of the moving companies they, they talked to in the last week, A, B, C, and D, but company A actually showed them social proof of the work getting done and this goal of having a move done well actually happening for another person for other people that's going to stand out to me when i'm going through my list of moving companies um and that's going to be the company that i'd be inclined to go with so the point is the secret to social proof is the proof is actually showing it it get done and and showing that 
hey, this is how our service works. This is how our product works. People are able to do it. You, the prospect out there, you will be able to do it just like these other people did it. You see them, you can be just like them. And the whole idea of taking social proof one step further and actually showing and proving that the work can get done and showing how the process works, that's what I that's what I picked up from this recent uh, thing I read in Persuasion. And it's not just about the social side, lots of customers, lots of happy customers, reviews, all that. It's also the proof side. And so that's what I was kind of uh, thinking about lately. And I'm going to now have this tool in my toolbox when I'm creating remarketing ads, when I'm working with clients on their video ads. And I have to think deeply about this. I don't have anything off the top of my head, but is there a way to do this in the in the text ads that that'd be interesting but definitely remarketing and and video this would this would definitely apply okay so now we're going to just finish up with a little news item today uh we have the we call it the PSP Patreon Facebook group and it's a Facebook group of Patreon podcast Patreon patrons members uh, it's very inexpensive to sign up. Uh, you get the after show every week of the Paid Search Podcast, a couple bucks a month. And you also get access to this uh, Facebook group of Patreon members for the Paid Search Podcast. It's our Paid Search Podcast Patreon audience. It's a, uh, some business owners, a lot of professionals in the in the business. We talk with each other. We share things we learn. We ask each other questions. And it has become a wonderful uh, resource. And just speaking on my Speaking about uh, my own experience here, I love getting on Facebook. Uh, I don't follow a lot of stuff on Facebook, and then a lot of stuff in my news feed is from the Patreon group, and I see a lot of interesting things, and it's a good way for me to keep up to date on some of the most important things in in this business. And we had a very interesting post uh, by one of the members the other day. Uh, They found a Google Ads, a a Google ads help uh, article or someone asking a question um, basically saying, Hey, no ads are showing for Google ads agency keywords anymore. Uh, what's going on. And if you do a search right now, again, I'm list, I'm recording this August 22, 2020. So things might change and you might start seeing ads again, but I'm looking at search results from Los Angeles and I'm looking at search results from Oklahoma city here. And in both cases, I no longer see ads on searches uh, for Google ads agency or AdWords agency. And let me, let me do Google ads marketing services, a suggested search. I'm not seeing any ads on that either. And this is brand new. Uh, just, I know for a fact, cause I do these searches a lot that there used to be heavy advertisements on these searches and now there's not, there's none. And so, I think if you read through the help article and and I'll link out to it in the in the in the show notes if you go to Google Ads help it says no ads shown for Google Ads agency keywords anymore um we don't it, it looks like there are no announcements about it which is interesting usually if they make a change like this a lot of times there's a official announcement so I don't know if this is temporary. I don't know if this is long term. I don't know if they're going to ever make an official announcement about it or not. Uh, but I know that it's interesting. That's the word I would use is interesting. Um, and interestingly enough, the uh, poster in our in our Facebook group uh, used the word interesting when he posted it. Interesting change to Google policies. Can't bid on keywords like Google ads or AdWords anymore. And so I guess it's not just... Uh, agencies let me do a very interesting search google ads software which i'm familiar with and are there ads or not let's see here loading up loading up i don't see i don't see any ads so it looks like it's not just agency stuff it's actual google ads anything adwords anything i think so again interesting um I don't really, I'm not really in the mood to speculate on why they would do this. Um, but you know what? As someone who's worked in the Google world for a long time now, I don't speculate. 
I just adapt. So that's kind of been my policy. I've had some struggles in the past where you get really used to something with Google. It's a dynamic company. They're constantly evolving, constantly changing. They change a lot. And I've had situations in the past where maybe I really love the interface or I really love a certain way of doing things. And then the policies change. Or maybe I've had a really good alcohol rehab client that was paying me a ton of money. And then the policies change and they have trouble advertising. That was a while ago. I think they might be advertising again, but it was a big hiccup at the time. I don't, uh, I don't react. I don't get emotional. I don't speculate. I just adapt. And I'm like a shark. I swim forward. That's all I can do. Uh, because it is a dynamic company company that's changing all the time. And I'm not going to, I'm not here to speculate. I'm here to adapt. And I appreciate, uh, our uh, friend there sharing the link in the Patreon group. And I appreciate that. I'm, uh, I, I know about this now um, because I, I do advertise on that keyword sometimes and it looks like I won't be anymore, but here we are. So there's no, no time for speculation. There's only time to swim forward like a shark and um, just adapt to the situation. So with that said, it's still a good thing to know about because uh, myself trying to get better at Google ads, trying to always uh, be on top of things. And then for a lot of listeners to this show, uh, a lot of professionals listen and people in the, in the business, well, you all need to know about this as well. So I want to share that piece of news with you. And I appreciate everyone listening to the show. The numbers are uh, more than I thought that would be this early on. So I appreciate that. And uh, we're going to keep growing this Rothman PPC podcast and I'll be uh, try to be back weekly. I appreciate you sharing. I appreciate you leaving uh, those five-star reviews on Apple Podcasts. And uh, thanks for sharing the show. And I will see you next week on the Rothman PBC Podcast.